Kazakhstan is an investment-attractive country. The Republic is among the top 20 investment-appealing countries. Currently, the Kazakh government is set to improve the country's rankings and enter the top 15 list. Favorable business climate and political stability are the key factors to attract foreign investors. The Astana International Financial Center established in Nur Sultan opened a new page in the history of independent Kazakhstan. The Astana International Financial Center, which is based on the English common law, is interesting for investors. As there are investment dispute resolution institutions, the new international exchange based on Western technologies and privatization processes in the AIFC. Business people and officials from many countries and large investment and financial organizations are interested in Kazakhstan's involvement in the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative. The One Belt, One Road initiative is seeking to pursue very ambitious and very important goals, particularly for emerging and frontier markets and countries like Kazakhstan that have so much potential. They really need the kind of investment and infrastructure needed to help them meet the sustainable development goals. There are councils established to support the favorable investment climate in the country. It includes the Council of Foreign and National Investors under the President of Kazakhstan, the Investment Climate Improvement Council chaired by the Prime Minister, and the Investment Ombudsman in Kazakhstan. The Kazakhstan aluminum smelter is set to double its aluminum production up to 500,000 tons per year. The company is currently developing a project to construct the second phase of its plant to increase its capacity. We will receive the feasibility study results in September, and based on the analysis, we will make a decision about the expansion of our production facilities. We will identify the time frame for the start and completion of the construction, as well as the plant's final capacity. Within 12 years since the commissioning of our plant, the technologies have advanced significantly. Therefore, we will ensure the continuous usage of the latest modern technologies offered by global aluminum production leaders. The plant has produced Kazakhstan-made aluminum, which meets international standards for 14 years. The aluminums are in demand and are highly valued at the London Metal Exchange. A high-grade aluminum alloy production unit, located in the Pavlodar Special Economic Zone, operate a wheel disc production facility. The semi-finished products are sent to Russian Enterprises, which then completes the disc production in a marketable condition. The same practice will soon be introduced in Pavlodar. We manufacture nearly 1,200 semi-finished wheels per day. However, in order to produce finished products here in the Special Economic Zone, we are planning to establish a painting workshop, which will then allow us to sell the finished products in Kazakhstan market. A variety of products can be made from high-grade aluminum. A facility to manufacture aluminum profiles, windows and doors is being constructed in the Pavlodar Special Economic Zone. Another project is the Aluminum Foil Production Unit. The foil manufacturing plant will also serve as a source of raw material for other finished products. The industry is developing at an accelerated pace. Therefore, we should be part of the industry as we have vast aluminum capacity. According to experts, the aluminum foil production factory will lead to the establishment of manufacturing facilities that will produce a wide range of commercial goods, such as gadget components, tin cans for various purposes, special protective clothes, packaging materials and car parts. Seven billion tenge are expected to be invested in livestock farming in North Kazakhstan region this year. Nearly 4,000 breeding cows have been imported in the region from abroad. The farmers are also planning to construct three modern commercial dairy farms. Farmer from Ayr Tau district, Vyacheslav Klutkevich, breeds dairy cattle in his farm. According to the farmer, livestock farming is one of the most important and challenging agricultural branches. <laughs> The farm provides milk, meat and job opportunities. The number of breeding cattle in Ayir Tau district increases every year. The milk yields are also rising. One of the three dairy farms which are scheduled to be established in the district will be constructed here. 
The land will be allocated for the construction of a dairy farm. Now, all the proper documents are being prepared. The modern and digital farm is designed for 300 heads of pedigree cattle. Four dairy farms have started operations in the North Kazakhstan region last year. Digital technologies are widely being used in the farms. The cows are monitored using special sensors. On average, the production capacity of one dairy farm is 1,500 tons of milk per day. 600 heads of Simentalsky breed were brought from Bavaria. We have received 500 calves. In the future, they will grow into cows and bulls. Livestock remains as one of the priority areas in Kazakhstan's economy. It has great potential for further development. Dushanbe is the largest city in Tajikistan. In recent years, the capital of the republic has become a beautiful and comfortable place to stay. The new modern buildings, renovated parks, as well as squares and flower alleys have inspired many poets and writers. Author Mirzo Alim Mir Saizoda glorified the beauty of the capital in his work Dushanbe, the heart of Tajikistan. In his book, he tells in great details about the history and development of the city. The publication is illustrated with colored photographs and also includes a section with reflections by statesmen, political figures, scholars, writers and journalists about Dushanbe and Tajikistan in three languages, Tajik, Russian and English. The book is written for mass audience. The presentation of the book took place in the Academy of Sciences of Tajikistan building. This is a very interesting book. These are articles written by our eminent scientists, politicians and veterans. It says that our city was completely transformed. The capital is so beautiful and indeed we are proud of our capital, which unites the representatives from all regions in the republic. People study here. It is a city of youth, students and love. Walking along the flower alleys of the parks, the soul rejoices. Studentship. Город любви и по паркам, когда ходят, и по э, вот этим э, цветущимся э, нашим аллеям, э, душа радуется. The first festival of fraternal and identical twins took place in Bishkek. More than 200 families took part in the festival. The idea of organizing such an event came up over a year ago. The event organizers are five young mothers of twins and triplets. Initially, we created a group. One of the mothers created a group in school and we all gathered and advised day and night. Someone's children were just born, someone's kids were grown up. There were different categories of children. The purpose of the event is to gather mothers, meet, make friends and entertain kids. We do a children's show since we haven't had one yet. This is the first time. Nobody was bored. The event featured contests, a show concert with participation of stars and performances of dance groups. We quarrel quite often, but then we reconcile. This is my first triplet, three girls. I am the happiest father. The festival of fraternal and identical twins named There Isn't Too Much Happiness turned out to be a large-scale event. Organizers said that the event will be traditional and held every year. The Assembly of People of Kazakhstan is a unique example of building inter-ethnic relations and spreading the ideas of peace and harmony. The advisory body will mark its 25th anniversary next year. Experts said that the history of the Assembly reflects the history of the country's stability. They also noted that the role of the Assembly is hard to be defined as it reflects a whole range of integrating people in Kazakhstan. The national model of inter-ethnic unity and the experience of the Assembly have been studied in many countries. Казахстанская модель общественного согласия, национального единства 
Today, Kazakhstan's model of social harmony and national unity has proved its vitality. First, the uniqueness of this model is that it represents the interests of ethnic groups up to their participation in parliament. We know that other countries, particularly Kyrgyzstan, is very interested in our model. I have personally given nearly four lectures on this topic, explaining the Kazakhstan's model. Visitors from abroad come to us. From the first day of its establishment by our first president, the Assembly has contributed to the development of our state, uniting all nationalities and all cultural centres. There are opportunities for all cultural centres, minorities, to move forward and to raise their culture. For example, there is a Sunday school in our Armenian centre. Next year, major events are planned throughout the country as part of the 25th anniversary of the Assembly. The Republican Olympiad of Robotics under the auspices of the World Robot Olympiad took place in Pavlodar. The national coordinator of the championship is an autonomous organization of education, Nazarbayev Intellectual Schools. 240 contestants from all regions of the country participated in the contest. All of them were selected in regional competitions. Students demonstrated their skills in design and programming of robots and presented innovative projects as well. For example, they showcased interesting projects such as the Smart Pharmacy, Smart Smart Rescue Station and Smart Parking. Our project is called Smart Parking. As planned, a car is tested before entering the parking lot. Heating is provided inside so that the car does not freeze in winter. The number of transport in cities is growing every year. As a result, there are not enough parking places. Therefore, my friend Mikhail and I developed this multifunctional project. For example, this project consists of three floors. There is a car wash on the first floor. On the second floor, there is a station for charging electric cars. And on the third one is a protective unit. The process can be controlled remotely using a telephone. It requires only the internet. The Republican Olympiad of Robotics in Kazakhstan has been organized since 2014. The main goal of the championship is to develop students' thinking outside the box and to improve their programming skills. The current participants showed very good results. Each child is distinguished by his or her skill. They can be called the future engineers of our country. These children are our future and pride. The winners of the national selection will go to the capital of Hungary to take part in the finale of the World Robot Olympiad in mid-November. Alakol is the pearl of Kazakhstan's tourism. Vacationers visit the lake to swim and seek treatment to improve their health. Adults and children enjoy spending time by the lake. Children also have a chance to rest in the Children's Health Improvement Camp. I enjoy spending time in this camp. I made many friends here and I hope to continue communicating with them. The houses where we stay are beautiful and comfortable. There are many interesting recreational programs for children in the camp. The programs involve swimming in the lake as well as participation in excursions. Almost 1,500 school students is expected to visit Lake Alakol this summer. There are many requests from eastern Kazakhstan and cities such as Semei, Rider and Woskimen. We also received requests from the education department of the city of Aktobe to arrange recreation activities for 120 children. Meanwhile, almost 90,000 students will relax at the summer camps in West Kazakhstan region in summer. An IT camp was opened recently in the region and it has become very popular. Experienced instructors teach the children to develop websites and games as well as film video clips. 
We offer two educational programs, such as development of 3D video games and web developments, such as websites creation. We will also hold various competitions during their stay at the camp. All children will be awarded with personal certificates of completion. I can create simple websites. I can also develop some small video games using 3D modeling. I think that this is just the beginning. In addition to IT, the children also learn about journalism, linguistics and mathematical thinking. The programs also include sports, excursions and entertainment. Kumis has always been the favorite drink of Kazakhs. The beverage is valued by people not only due to its taste and nutrients, but due to its health benefits as well. There is a traditional holiday of Kumis Murindik in Kazakhstan, which dates back to hundreds of years. The mare's milking season this year was widely celebrated in Almaty region. A youth village has been established at a picturesque pasture land where all visitors were treated to Kumis. The event was attended by many visitors. A variety of Kazakh food has been served to celebrate Kumis Murindik. Visitors had a chance to try kumis, which is known to be refreshing, nurturing and beneficial, and also to eat Kazakh traditional food. Kumis is the main course of the celebration, but we also treat the guests to other traditional food, such as irimshik and kurt. Kazakh traditions and customs were also demonstrated during the event. For instance, men attending the celebration participated in equestrian competitions aimed to handle wild horses, which is not an easy task and requires special skills. 70-year-old Kurmet Akanuli surprised the visitors as he managed to tame the horses. The elder is a skilled craftsman as well. <laughs> I make knives and handles made of horns. I pay particular attention to the knife blades. Kazakh sports competitions were held at the event. Athletes showed their skills in equestrian sports such as Aldarispak and Kokpar. The Genghis Khan choreographic play was premiered in the capital of Kazakhstan. The story is about the great eastern conqueror and his legendary feat, about the fearless commander who was remembered in history forever. The fight between light and darkness, war and love. These themes of perpetual scenes were reflected in a unique choreographic play presented by the Nas State Dance Theater. <laughs> We came up with the idea of the Genghis Khan play in 2016. I came to Kazakhstan and prepared this historical performance in 21 days. The theatrical team under the guidance of professional choreographer Kadisha began rehearsals. My colleagues have been preparing dancers' costumes and stage images for three years. It was quite hard. <laughs> The producers managed to convey the atmosphere of the 13th century in the smallest detail with the help of carefully selected costumes, harmoniously installed stage props and grand scenery. Active preparation for the premiere lasted nearly six months. Gaukar Ismagulova, who starred as Genghis Khan's wife Borte, said that she had to fully commit to her work in order to delve into the character. It was hard. The challenge was that this performance differs from other plays. It had a lot of tragic moments. It was emotionally hard. Of course, we felt the support of the team. I should say that it wasn't easy. The Genghis Khan play reflected the spiritual bond between two countries, said the Mongolian choreographer. The dancers are very talented. I think my idea has been realized. We have so much in common. Our roots and worldviews are similar. We led a nomadic lifestyle and lived in yurts. We show respect for our elders as well. I think all of this helped us to achieve a successful result.
Bright stage props, thematic music and costumes reflecting the lifestyle of that era managed to win the hearts of the capital's audience. The artists managed to convey the subtle and accurate image of great conqueror Genghis Khan through dance performances. The premiere of the performance was timed to the youth year and the day of the Kazakh capital.